Here's another important tip from the Personal Defense Network. Now we're going to look at utilizing the carbine as an intermediate force option, or what we call direct action combatives. And again, this might be a situation where I'm not justified in utilizing lethal force, or the carbine has a stoppage or malfunction. The firearm has a stoppage or malfunction. So I want to utilize this long arm in a capacity as a, an impact tool. The first thing that we're going to look at is how we're going to use this, how we're going to grip the long arm so that we can maximize our effectiveness when striking with it. With the long arm mounted, we're going to start off first with the long arm mounted in our shoulder. The first grip is where I'm going to rotate my hands backwards. And this is what we call the paddle grip. So from the grip here, I'm actually taking uh, my fingers off the trigger from, at this point. I'm going to rotate my hand up so that this thumb, my strong side thumb, is pointing at me. The forehand hand, my support hand, is just going to do the same thing and rotate back so that both of my thumbs are now pointing at me. What I've done by assuming this grip is I've now taken this long gun and made it into a spear. I can utilize the muzzle as my primary impact surface. And I can exert a, a large, large amount of pressure and force with that muzzle, muzzle in this grip. So from that first paddle grip, I'm taking the, the long gun and utilizing it as a spear. The second important grip that we're going to look at is where uh, I've experienced that retention problem. I've had the, the long arm mounted in my shoulder pocket, but I've had to bring it underneath my arm and follow my core principle, clamp it underneath my, my strong side arm because of a retention issue here. At this point, when I go to ram into my adversary, I want to have a positive grip, a very positive grip on the, the long gun. And if I'm operating a shotgun or some type of hunting rifle, I might not have this grip. So our second grip is what we call our bayonet grip. And all I'm going to do from the clamp position is I'm going to bring my support side elbow up a little bit and drop the stock or the saddle. If I'm already in this grip with a shotgun, I'm good to go. But if I'm running an M4, M16 uh, type rifle, then I'm going to drop the receiver extension tube into my strong hand here. So I end up with a grip like this. Now, if you notice, my thumbs are both forward. From this bayonet grip, again, I can utilize the muzzle as my primary impact surface and spear my target. So utilizing both of those grips, we're going to look at four striking methods with the long gun. First, we're going to start off from our spear grip. I'm going to rotate my thumbs backwards, and my first strike is where I'm utilizing just that muzzle for that impact. That's one. My second strike, I'm going to utilize the top of or the heel uh, of my buttstock, and that's where I'm going to bring the buttstock down as a striking implement. My third strike is where I'm coming back forward and utilizing either the front sight, if the long gun that I have in my hands has a front sight like this, or the tip of the muzzle. So one, two, and three. My fourth and final strike in my combative direct action series is where I'm using the charging handle or the top of the firearm. If this was a stick, we'd call this the bar or the middle. And I'm going to use that in a cross face type manner where I'm striking with the middle of that long gun. Those are the four strikes that we look at from this spear grip. From the bayonet grip, where I drop it down into this grip here, I'm going to do the same exact four strikes. I have my muzzle strike, I have my butt strike, but now I'm using the toe of the butt stock. I strike again with the muzzle, tip of the muzzle, and then my last and final one is this cross bar or, or cross face strike with the base of my magazine pad, the sharp edges of the magazine pad. If, again, I'm running a shotgun or some type of hunting rifle, it's just the base of that long gun, striking. So in review, the four combative strikes that I'm going to utilize for carbine or rifle long gun combatives, 
muzzle, butt strike, muzzle, cross face. From my Banach grip, muzzle, butt strike, muzzle, cross face. These four strikes provide us with tools now so that we can effectively utilize all parts of the long gun that's in our grasp to protect ourselves. If it's a retention type situation where I've clamped the gun and I'm wrestling with my adversary, I can orient the muzzle, ram into them, retract, and now if there's still a no shoot or if this carbine or rifle whatever has malfunctioned or I have a stoppage, I can transition immediately into one of these grips and utilize all parts of the long arm in a combative manner. If we have to utilize the carbine in a combative manner, utilizing one of the four strikes that we've already uh, shown, it's important that we want to maximize our impact effectiveness. One way that we're going to do that is utilizing a little bit of uh, footwork. And it's important for me to, to point out that you're going to try to strike from whatever position you're already in. If, if you're in a good platform and you have the ability to step like I'm going to show, then you want to do so. You want to train that. But it, worst case scenario, you're compromised. You're still going to strike uh, whatever way you can and utilize those four strikes that we've shown. So looking at my feet, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on putting as much force on each part of the carbine that we're striking with. And the way we do that is just before we strike, I'm going to raise my lead foot off the ground so that all my body weight is behind the piece of surface area that I'm striking with. So an example of that might be with the muzzle strike. I'm going to switch into my spear grip. I'm going to take a, raise my foot, and I'm going to stomp that front foot as I impact with that muzzle. There's a lot more force generated by taking that step and stomping than if I just sit here and piston strike with my arms. While those are effective, I can maximize my impact power by simply raising my lead foot and stomping aggressively into my target. And I'm going to do that with all of my strikes, not just my muzzle strike. So again, from my spear grip here, I'm going to raise my lead foot, stomp in and strike. With the butt, butt stock strike, I'm going to raise my foot and strike. With the muzzle strike or the front sight strike, raise my foot and strike. And then with the cross face, carry handle, top of the receiver, I'm going to raise my foot and strike. So I'm going to stomp the floor at the same time that I make application with the impact surface of the carbine or long gun. By raising my foot, I'm putting all of my body weight behind that surface area that I'm striking with. If you found this video helpful, make sure to post a comment at the personaldefensenetwork.com.